What's going on guys, it's your boy Frankie. Thank you for tuning in. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a brake adjustment on your bike. So this is gonna to happen to everybody who has a bicycle or e-bike, especially on an e-bike because they are a lot heavier and everything. So I'm gonna be using my electric XP to show this demonstration for you guys. So here's the bike right here. So um, just to keep in mind, uh, an e-bike, an electric XP actually isn't that bad, but um, these bikes, you have to remember, tend to weigh a lot more than uh, your uh, a normal bike and everything. So brake, adjust, uh, brake adjustments will be part of your uh, normal you know, maintenance schedule and everything too, and it's going to happen... A lot more often than a regular bike because like i said because of the weight you're going faster too and it's just you know you you keep you know every time you pull those brake uh, use the brakes it's going to naturally you know stretch that cable out a little more and more so i'm going to show you um how to quickly do this and it takes i mean no more than five minutes so um this is something that's been asked a lot on the groups that i'm in and a lot of people tend to forget how to do it and and, and it is a very simple process so okay so we're going to begin here I'll show you guys there are two adjustments you can make uh, when doing the brake adjustment. So the first one is going to be, if you look down over here at the caliper, even though these are hydraulic calipers, the um, the standard ones that come with this will be the same exact way to adjust them. So this is going to be right here. You're going to look in here. I hope you guys can see that on, on camera. This is your one adjustment right here. And you'll, and you'll know which one it is because it's the one where you'll see your cable connected to. It's not any of these or any of those you know none of these i mean it's just it's right here same exact thing on the on the back one the rear brake pretty much just follow the cable and it's this one right here now we're not gonna we're not gonna touch this adjustment here this should only be used if you're doing like a major adjustment like for instance like when you're uh, right after you've replaced your, your brake pads or you've installed new calipers and you've had to completely take this apart that's when you want to do your um your adjustment here first once these are adjusted you normally don't really have to play with these much now the adjustments you're going to be dealing with pretty much where you want to fine tune the brakes are going to be up over here by the levers so which is uh this right here same thing over here too so for instance um my brakes i've just adjusted but um i readjusted so i can kind of show you guys you know what to do if this ever happens to you so normally you know you want your brakes to kind of when you pull them in they go to about right there and then stop right that's usually what you want them to however in time they start stretching more and more and then your brakes will start doing this and it goes all the way down like this now yeah, this is something you don't want so basically this is what we're going to do so once you get that you're going to have two um adjustments here that you're going to turn so the first one you're going to do is you're going to want to loosen this one that is closest because that'll loosen it up so you can make an adjustment and then you're going to turn this and what we're doing is we're we're it's, it's like we're pulling the brake out it's going to tighten it a little bit so we're going to go just a little bit there put that back and then we're going to pull it a little see where that goes see now tighten it a little bit and then if that's not where you want it you want to just keep adjusting out a little more and just go a little bit at a time give it a pull okay see so now i'm able to pull in it stops right there i want to go just a little more adjust that just a little bit almost there i'm going to keep this will probably be fine and here we go that's almost as a matter of fact i'm gonna go just a tad more okay and now that's where you want it right there see so it kind of feels like this yeah so that should be fine and you just while you're doing this too you can see if everything is working give it a test if that feels good to you then go ahead and um turn this so that it's nice and tight you don't really need to use tools to make this really tight you don't want it that tight because if you're out on the road and you have to make an adjustment you and if you don't have tools on you it's kind of you know you're going to kind of be stranded so okay so there we go it's nice and tight now also keep in mind you don't want to 
tighten this too much to where it's just barely pulling like this because the problem is is um if, if you're doing that you have to remember that the the brakes on this bike when you activate the brakes it automatically cuts off power to the motor so if you tighten these too tight and your breaker your brakes are only going pulling back about this much it might not pull back enough to activate that um you know the, to, to deactivate the motor as you're going so you do want to keep that in mind so you don't want to you don't want it too tight i would say right there probably about see like a good finger distance right there is usually what i like to do and then once you made your your adjustment go ahead and, and test it get on the bike you know ride it around slowly don't go you know don't don't hop right on your bike and go 80 miles an hour and, and go crazy just uh you know ride it around slowly see how the brakes feel give it like you know like like five or six pumps or whatever while you're riding it because it might adjust you might have to make another slight adjustment you know and then once, once you have it adjusted to where it is and and it feels good you're all set and you know until the next time and then you can go ahead and make the uh you know you can adjust your brakes all over again and that's basically it's all it is and just i mean and unless you upgrade to like hydraulic cables and everything too you're gonna be doing this quite often on this bike because it's just natural it's just the way it works the bike is heavier you're gonna be using the brakes more they the cables will naturally stretch as you use them so hope this video was informative to you guys if you're new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I will reply to every comment out there as, as, you know, as much as I can and everything. So I want to thank you guys for the support. And I will see you guys on the next one. Ride safe out there, guys.